In this presentation, we're going to look at an application of matrices, and this is used in, electronic in electronics and electronic engineering and stuff like that. I'm taking it from the point of view of uh, a maths um, uh, point of view. So this is the application of matrices, but I'll try and explain. So I'm, this is more so from a maths point of view rather than an engineering point of view that I give in this presentation. But it still is, it's sort of good to know the, uh, the applications. So what we have here is a, this is what they call a two-port network. And so we have essentially an input and an output. So the input over here is in terms of the current. Current is denoted I usually, and we have an output current over here. And we also have this voltage here, okay? Uh, in some books actually it's written as, the, the course I'm sort of working with myself uses E for some reason, but in some books it might also be denoted a, a V. Um, that is the the input parameters are the input and output parameters are the current and voltage respectively here e and i or sometimes v and i uh that yeah so that that is the voltage or the electric potential now uh what we're interested in here is the series impedance or the impedances that might exist across these networks these two port networks and so what we have here is an impedance now this is like a resistor essentially um the impedance there, uh, resistor. Um, okay, so here what we, is what we have is a series resistor. So that it, was, it works in series, but we could also have, just to give you a counterexample of that, a shunt impedance. So I'm just going to go back to this um, series resistor, and there we have it there. So it's essentially in series rather than working. Uh, um, work, uh, working across uh, the network. So, um, quickly what I'll do actually is what I'm going to do here is come up with a uh, description for showing how you can uh, explain or, or sort of characterize this network in terms of a transmission matrix. So what we have here is EI and let's come up with an expression for that. So E i is equal to sorry E E one is equal to E two plus Z times I two, okay. And the theory for this I actually won't get into too much. I two I one is equal to I two. Now essentially what we're going to do here is rewrite this as in matrix form. So I have E i or E one and I one. I keep saying that. So this system of equations here can be written as I'm going to put a plus i2 there and I can put a zero here, okay? And this system of equations can be written as one times z zero one, okay? E two i two, okay? Now this here is what we call the transition uh, transmission matrix. Okay, so that's the transition matrix for a series impedance. In the next uh, slide here, we have the transmission matrix for shunt impedance. Okay, uh, it's very similar, um, except we have one over z down here. Now, again, I'm taking things from the maths point of view, so the derivation of this is not part of this exercise. Okay, just to show, other than to say it is can be written in matrix form. So that's the series and shunt impedance. Now what I might be interested in is a cascade of impedances. So we might have uh, multiple two-port networks in uh, one after the other in cascade so to speak and we want to find out what the overall transition matrix is for the entire uh, network of networks. Okay. So we have for example we have one sort of area here and it could be in shunt impedance, it could be series impedance, it could be something else and we have something else here, so it's characterized by T1 and this one here is characterized by T2, those are the two transition matrices uh, that will go uh, be relevant in, in that, uh, those particular spots. Essentially to find the overall transition matrix, a transmission matrix, uh, transition matrix is something else, the transmission matrix 
is we actually just multiply them out okay that's essentially what we're uh, doing here and, and again it's a sort of it follows uh, from the point of the maths point of view and the application of maths in engineering and matrices and matrix uh, multiplication so we have t1 times t2 okay and so on so let's look at the sort of a very simple example what we have here is two components we have a series component here and we're going to call that uh, z1 and we have a shunt component here okay z2 okay that's sort of blacked out a bit for some reason but the oh, what we want to do is find out the overall um overall transmission matrix for the entire uh, uh for everything we have there so what we're going to do is multiply them both out now essentially what i all, all I really have to do is multiply out the transition transmission matrices for both okay so if for the series it is one times this is z1 here uh 0 and 1 and for the shunt part it is 1 0 1 over z2 0 okay now what we have to do is multiply both of them out i'm going to this is a straightforward multiplication problem so i'm not going to spend too much time at it it is um 1 that is equal to 1 i'll tell you what 1 plus times 1 so that's 1 plus z times 1 times 1 over z times uh, 1 over, uh, z times 1 uh, z uh, z1 times 1 over z2 that's plus z1 over z2 or z1 over z2 uh, the next row is um sorry little mistake there that should be a 1 down there uh, 1 times 0 plus Z1 times Z1 or Z1 times 1 so that's just Z1 0 times 1 plus 1 or times 1 over Z2 so this is 1 over Z2 and finally 1 okay for the last one so the overall transition matrix is this here it just requires a bit of matrix multiplication uh, we can go further with that um, so for argument's sake let's have what well, we have just had there two of them uh, the two sort of setups uh, one after the other so we have a series then a shunt then a series then a shunt and so essentially what we have here to, on both sides is the same setup on both sides just 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 for the sake of simplicity the overall um transition transmission matrix here is one plus z one over z two and z one z two one and again the second side is identical so it's one plus z one over z two z one z two and one Purely for the sake of convenience, I just took two rep uh, two exact carbon copies and put them in series. Uh, essentially, the overall transition matrix for that is we multiply them all out, and in this case, what we would get is one. Let's bring it back into shot here. One plus z one over z two squared plus Oops, need a uh, there's a fraction missing there. Plus Z one over Z two. And next side is Z one plus. Oh, I'll just I'll just speed it up. Plus two times Z one over Z two. Down here we have 1 over z2 times 2 plus z1 over z2 and finally 1 plus z1 over z2. Uh, you have to be very careful with the numbers there, particularly as you have 2's here. I'm just going to put the 2's here. That's a 2 there and that is a 2 there. But uh, oh, apart from that, it's just uh, the expressions get pretty... Uh, 
heavy going pretty quickly but you know the, the calculus is straightforward enough really anyway let's transition matrices applications of matrices